hey guys welcome back to my channel I know it's been a long time it's the end of January at least when I'm filming this it's the end of January so honestly I think vlogmas took a lot out of me and it almost took away my desire to do a bunch of videos so I'm back now I think I had enough break things have been going crazy at work and in planning this wedding it's a lot of work but it's actually really fun um i'm me and tito are getting really used to just using our weekends to get as much done as we can we've got a lot of things done i've really 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 been trying to vlog a lot of our um, of our wedding planning process it's been really tough and this past weekend we did our engagement party we threw our engagement party or well our parents did and it was so fun I wish I could have vlogged more here's what I vlogged <laughs> Yay! Not diet. Just coffee. And I got my little English egg white muffin. I wanted the good stuff, so I haven't eaten in like two days. So. We want all of those donuts. Uh, I, want, I want lots of donuts. We want all of the donuts. But we can't get it. No, no, no. No donuts. Mm -mm -mm. We love Duncan. Look at that pose. Oh, look at that lighting. Beautiful. <laughs> Alright guys, sorry. I look a hot mess. Tito and I split because he has a lot of stuff to do. He's going to get a haircut. I just went to my um, um, laser hair removal place because ain't nobody got time for painful waxes and things like that so I'm in the process of getting my face just like super clean and everything for the wedding it's going to be like a process of six months and things like that so right now I'm on my way to Michael's to get some supplies for making cupcakes me and my friend Anna we're gonna make some cupcakes later today so I need to like go home and make them um and then I need to go to the dollar store to get some balloons for tomorrow and then I need to go to Costco I think to get some salads and some flowers so that's what we're doing right now all right guys so I'm back from the store I'm gonna make some cupcakes I have my hands ready and then I went to Michael's and I got these gold little cupcake liners and then I also got these like gold and white sprinkles. I think they should be really cute for the, the cupcakes. And I have Alexa playing Rascal Flats because I'm in that mood. And these little cupcake toppers. I think they're really cute. Um, there are only six of them. So I think I'm just gonna like scatter them throughout. I'm gonna make 24 total. Here we go. All right, guys, so I have two pans filled so far, and actually my best friend Anna told me about an ice cream scooper to um, make your cupcakes, and I think it's easier because they come out round at the top. So we'll see if that works. This is my first time trying this. Hey, guys, so it is the next day. I didn't get to vlog much, but as you can see from yesterday, it was a busy day. And I feel like I've lost my voice because I'm only running on five hours of sleep. I went to sleep at 2 a.m. last night. And um, now I'm just getting ready. It's, you know, it's the day of the engagement party. And my mom just left to get her hair done. Tito is um, soccer training. And then he's going to go pick up the food from the restaurant. And, um, and then then people are gonna start coming so I kind of wanted to show you guys my house before like it's kind of set up right now there's just like a last few minute touches left to do um, but yeah let me show you around the house
that we started registering um so we did our registry at amazon as well as macy's here is our macy's experience <laughs> Yeah, so I didn't get much and actually when we did our registry we thought we were vlogging but we actually didn't hit record or we thought we hit record and it was just this whole thing and I was really sad afterwards because I really wanted to vlog it so we could look back because again like I said this channel is really for um, showing you guys the process but it's also for me and Tito to kind of look back at our past experiences and so we're gonna try even more this um from here on out to vlog more of the process and yeah i think that's really going to be important but that's what's going on so far i'm sorry i've been away for so long i did want to um show you guys um i just got back from target actually i spent way too much but you guys know how that goes target is like my second home my natural habitat and I love it so much if you guys don't follow me on um, Instagram follow me on Instagram I'm always posting IG stories about what I'm doing a lot of my target trips and so I just kind of wanted to show you guys a haul because I've been doing a lot of shopping just wanted to show you guys the three snacks that I get um, as you guys know I am on Weight Watcher so the losing weight for the wedding has begun i'm down like 10 pounds since i last saw you guys um which is good i'm not starting to see that much results but i feel a lot better and yeah the scale is moving so that's a good thing <laughs> so a couple snacks that i'm currently eating right now is the emerald 100 calorie packs these are the dry roasted almonds um i think they're three points on the new freestyle weight watchers if you guys are Weight Watcher Freestyle members, let me know in the comments down below and tell me your favorite snacks because I'm always looking for something new to munch on. So these are really good. Um, you know, they're almonds, but they have a little sweetness to them and they're not too bad for you. The next item is the Kashi Dark Mocha Almond Chewy Granola Bars. These are like chewies, but healthier the chewy bars that you see without all of the uh, bunch of chemicals and stuff i actually don't i haven't tried these but i went down up and down the granola bar aisle at target to find and i was using my e-tools on weight watchers to scan to find one that had good points this one seemed to have good points i think it's four points um i may be wrong i'll have to scan it again but these were the best ones i found for the points and who knows maybe they're good i always like some kind of chocolate item in the middle of the day every once in a while so these are a good alternative to eating candy at least in my opinion even though candy is really good sometimes and then finally i have my wheat thins here we go wheat thins reduced fat i think these are three or four points for about 16 crackers um which is not bad i usually have them with the laughing cow wedges which is a really good snack if you guys haven't tried them but yeah these are my snacks right now the rest of my bag so i just got these stickers as you guys know i'm a planner person well maybe you don't know I'm a planner person. I use my planner and actually let me show you my planner. This year, this is my planner and it says anything is possible. I got it at Michael's and it basically has, you know, all of, you know, what you would imagine a planner has. This is like what the month looks like. And um, I have these little, these little cute, I think that her name is like, hold on, Donatella. 
and these are cute little bookmarks basically and this is what the week looks like this is my week this week and um so yeah i'm a planner person and one of the things that i like to do is um use stickers to kind of make the week a little more fun um i love mermaids so i got these at target and these are by the brand carlton cards so 26 stickers not too bad i thought these were good for a lot of wedding stuff that i'll be having in my calendar um yeah love them are you guys sticker people? I feel like I've always been a sticker person. I have sticker books. I have sticker book collections. And I've always loved stickers and I can't get enough of them. Okay, so next up, I found this shirt in the graphic tee section. One of the things that, one of the things that uh, you guys may not know is that I love Harry Potter and I'm actually in the process of reading all of the Harry Potter books now. Um, I've read them a long time ago and now I kind of want to get back to reading them because they put me in such a happy place and it's something I'm doing to kind of take my mind off a lot of the wedding planning stuff, a lot of work stuff. And actually, this is my um, only copy I have of the Sorcerer's Stone, the first book of the Harry Potter series. And my 8th grade teacher actually gave it to me. And if you can see here, she wrote a little note and it said, Myra, a gift for you from Mrs. A. And her name was Mrs. Anderson and this was in the 8th grade. And I thank her to this day because she's the one, she's the one who really got me into reading because of Harry Potter. And so... I'm reading them again so that's really good and then I actually found these at Target which are Harry Potter bookmarks similar to the Donatella ones they're kind of like this uh, paper material with the magnetic um, thing on the side or on the inside and so these are really cute it has Draco, Ron, Hermione, and Harry so I really like this shirt and I you know of course I'm House Gryffindor even though I really like House Slytherin too but I thought this was just like a good t-shirt to have around the house are you guys ready for this I got another t-shirt and I found it in the graphic tees section I don't think you guys are ready power line power line guys this when have you guys ever seen a power line t-shirt it says Powerline Standout Tour 94. Such a throwback. And then on the back, it has tour dates of the tour. I thought this shirt was so cool and I could not wait to take it home. It's going to be such a nice, cool, um, you know, just lounge around weekend shirt. Um, I love it so much. Who likes Powerline? I think I watched the Goofy movie like a thousand times being a kid and Powerline songs were like my childhood so I love this shirt and I can't wait to wear it and I'll post it on Instagram. That's why it's important to follow me on Instagram. I love it. Oh, okay. Next up, I found this in the little dollar aisle. I think this was a dollar. Yep. There you go. A dollar this was this is a unicorn pen and it's a glitter pen this is just one of those impulse buys and has unicorns and donuts on them who doesn't love unicorns and donuts and I actually um, use a lot of cool pens for you know writing in my planner and I always like to have something really fun to write with and I like these like bigger uh, pens just because they're I don't know I feel like I get a better grip I write better with them so I thought this was really cute glitter pen and then we got um, thank you cards well I got thank you cards um, Tito just sent texts for thank yous um, for the people that gave us gifts and the people that attended our engagement party I'm a little bit more girly so I got these pink and gold ones so I just thought they were really cute there's a 24 pack and it's just kind of like that millennial pink with gold. I really love them. And then I got this shirt. It's kind of like a lace. If you guys can see. It's like a lace shirt um, by this brand Exhilaration. 
and I thought it would be cute for our um, informal engagement photos. We're going to take our engagement photos sometime next week, um, I think. And we're looking for, we have our formal outfits and we're just looking for our informal outfits or casual outfits. So I thought these might be cute with like a boot or something like that. Who knows what I end up choosing, but I thought this was really cute. And then something you guys may not know about me, my skin is really sensitive. And so I've been using uh, the same deodorant for about over 10 years maybe 15 years because of a past allergic reaction um, that I had as a kid and once I found one that I wasn't allergic to I stuck to it and then most recently they must have changed their formula or something like that because I got another allergic reaction so I'm trying out new um, deodorants and I'm not having much luck but I found this one at Target and it's called the Schmitz Bergamot and lime natural deodorant so it has no aluminum no artificial fragrance and this other word that i cannot pronounce but i don't know i'm gonna try looking for some natural products that don't break me out and don't give me an allergic reaction it really sucks to have allergic reactions to products because then you're stuck hoping it will heal and trying a bunch of things and then I actually went to the dermatologist and they gave me a cream that I was also allergic to so I don't understand my skin or anything anymore so I'm hoping this works but we'll see if you guys have um, allergic reactions to similar deodorants I was using I think dry idea that's what the brand was called and I was thankful that Target always sold them for years and years and years and I'm really sad to be losing that um, deodorant because it works so well and I love the smell I never got tired of it and I'm so annoyed that I'm allergic to it but I don't know if you guys have any good suggestions let me know I would love love to try out something that i know is gonna work so let me know please please oh and i was looking for the packaging because i just like got in my car and i opened it up and i don't know what i did with the packaging but um i'm having a lot of anxiety lately and i think it's the wedding planning and the stress at work and stuff like that but um i was watching shark tank and the guy the inventor had this in his hand and um he created this and i forget what it's called it's like a fidget something and i was watching shark tank and he was diagnosed with um add and so he created this um, product and it helps supposedly helps with anxiety people who have add but i don't have add i'm just really anxious lately and so hopefully this will help me you know i could take it to work meetings and things like that and kind of play around with it if you guys have something similar to this let me know how it works let me know how you like it if i'm using it wrong i really don't know but um i'm hoping it helps you know with stuff and then as you guys know i opened it already i'm sorry um i like blind bags and these were really interesting to me and tito bought it for me because he knows how much i love it and these are called the squish delish uh, slow rising squeezables and so um basically um you can they're like little squeeze i guess they're like stress balls but they're like slow rise and i don't know they feel really good and so i you know picked one out and i was like which one do i want and then boom i saw the mermaid and i was like i want that and then on the back i also saw there was like a chinese food packet and i really kind of wanted that one too but of course i wanted the mermaid so i opened it and i was like please be a mermaid please be a mermaid how cute is that so yeah it just like slow rises and it feels so good to mush it up i feel bad mushing her face up and stuff but she's so cute yeah so these called these are called the squish delish i kind of wanted to buy the squeezies like the big ones that are like cakes and cupcakes and things like that but I was like no let me stop I'm not a child so 
I settled for the little blind bags, which is really fun. I kind of want to buy another one to see if I can get the, um, the, the Chinese food pack, but these are really hard to, like, feel, so I kind of just, like, really chose it. Um, with the Tsum Tsums, they're kind of easier because they're hard and you can try to feel what it, what it is, but these you can just, you touch it and, like, you know, squeezes and you can't really tell what it is, so... I'm so lucky. I'm really good at these blind bags, but I'm so lucky I got the little mermaid. She's so cute. Okay, and then I have two more items. One item is this card box. And actually right now is the perfect time to buy card boxes if you're planning a wedding. Um, you know, for my engagement party, a lot of people were giving me cards um that had like money and gift cards in it and i'm so thankful thank you so much guys whoever gave me all the gift cards and all the cash and stuff we really appreciate it in the planning process and so i realized i needed to have a place to put all my cards in and so um right now is the perfect time to buy these if you're getting married because right now is all the valentine's day stuff and so these are actually like a valentine's day box to put your valentine's in for school like kids buy them and stuff like that so i plan on it's kind of like dirty and they were all like you know kind of messed up but i plan on painting this and maybe putting some flowers on top and just designing it a little bit better um you know it's just a white box so um and it was three dollars yep it was three dollars so i think this is going to be really good to have at the wedding where the gifts are going to be and to put all the cards in so i'm really really happy i found it and then finally i really like this is a whiteboard um and it's actually not a white whiteboard it is a kind of marble detailing whiteboard and it comes with two magnets and a marker, which is really cool. But what I've been realizing is that there's a lot of things to do when you're planning a wedding. And there's like these little things that you forget. So I wanted a place where I can kind of just jot down my to-do list that's out in the open that me and Tito could see. Not just in my planner, um, in my room or, you know, in our living room and things like that. And kind of just make sure we're on track with things that we need to accomplish. So... That's why I got this. It's kind of small. It's like, you know, you can see what it looks like. But I like the gold trim on it. And I like how it's marble detailing. So it doesn't just look like a, you know, medical whiteboard. I don't know. Just like a plain whiteboard. So I really like this because it's kind of trendy. And it goes with my theme. My theme for my wedding is golden white. So I hope it, you know, turns out well. There's just so much to do. You guys... If you've planned a wedding, you know my struggle. You know the drama that happens. But we're doing our best to plan what we can. I promise I'm going to do more to show you guys the wedding process and the wedding planning process because it's just so much fun and there's a lot of things to do. And then the last thing I remember is like, oh crap, I didn't vlog. Um, and so I'm going to do my job to keep that as a priority. Um, but other than that, yeah, I love Target love everything i bought tell me what you guys think of um all the things that i got and if you guys know of a deodorant that i should try that won't give me an allergic reaction it really sucks for pictures and stuff that's it for this video if you guys are harry potter fans let me know in the comments what's your house give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching guys bye Gosh, it is that time again. It's the time of love. Oh my gosh, I want all the snacks. I hurt you. I hurt you. I'm buying some Skittles. Oh dear. Oh my gosh, I look crazy. Oh my gosh. We're at Target. Hello, everybody. How's it? Are everyone? you okay? I'm trying to put this back on the shelf. And I can't believe it's been another year that we're looking at this stuff. Beautiful year. Gotta love the teacher, guys. Look, gotta love the teachers. Aww. That's, that's sweet. Look at all the Oreo nuts.
merchandise. I love it. Getting it. Totally getting it. I want to bake. I want to bake everything. Oh my god, aren't those so cute? Cute. 